Welcome everybody on YouTube and also here in Twitch chat. We have Grixis Dragons on the docket for our next deck. Uh, pretty self-explanatory what we're trying to do here. We're trying to play lots of dragons. We only have, I guess, 10 in the deck between Blade Wings, Nickel Boluses, and Niv Mizzets. But these Niv Mizzets and Nickel Boluses are just such good cards that, that it's certainly worth it to kind of build around. Sarkin and Dragon Horde are our way to ramp into these cards to help play them earlier, especially with Niv Mizzet. We can play it on as early as turn four after playing Sarkin on turn three. Um, since the last time we played this deck one other time, uh, since the last time we played this, I'm going to be trying out two dive downs in this deck um, to be able to protect our Niv Mizzet Nickel Bolas. I think dive downs pretty interesting uh, w with those cards, and so want to try those out. Um, we we can also if we don't have the dragons, we can loot away dive down with Sarkin. So we have that. Uh, available to us as well. I got a third dive down in the sideboard for removal heavy matchups when we're also bringing in Thief of Sandys there when we're cutting some of our removal and getting another threat in there. Um, I want the dive downs to be able to protect Thief of Sandy also. So that's what we got going on. Yeah, no Lathless Queen. Unfortunately, Lathless Queen is just a little too expensive at six mana and you know, you need a, you need a cast for six mana and need to like untap with it. Then also have another dragon, and then, you know, play that dragon so you can get an, another one. And if you're already going to have the other two dragons in play, you're already doing fine. Yeah, no Lathless Queen for us. So what beats is it Drake's? Yeah, Lava Coil is certainly good. Um, Eldest Reborn is an awesome card in that matchup. Um, so cards like Lava Coil, Eldest Reborn, uh, Play Crafter, things like that. I really like Red Black Midrange and Demir Quasi duplicate or quasi sacrifice, either one. Quasi sacrifice certainly better. Um, so those are kind of some decks that that I play that I think have awesome Is It Drake's matchups. Um, if you're trying to go under Is It Drake's, uh, Adanto Vanguard is a great card in that matchup also, and specifically when paired with a Johnny that can put a counter on a Danto Vanguard to make it four power so it can attack through the Drakes also. And thanks, Vulnerable God, for the for getting the YouTube link out there. Yep, that's YouTube link. Remember, you make sure to follow the channel there, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. All right, we need to find land, so we're going to Thought Erasure. Look for lands. Midnight Reaper, Wild Growth Walker, Jade Light, Branch Walker. Hmm. I think I'm going to take Wild Growth because we have the Fungal Infections for the others. You know, the others are going to give them pretty good card advantage. Thanks, Hogzalem. Yeah, Marshall with the Danto as well. Yep, that's another way to pump up the power there. Well, dang. Couldn't go worse for us. That's a quick game. So we're playing all the Ritual of Sits in this matchup. Getting rid of Blade Wing. Anything else to change? I don't think so. I think that's it. Could trim a Fungal Infection. I like the card, but we don't need all of those. I'm going to trim a Fungal Infection for another dive down. What happened? We... Uh, Molt kept two lander with Thought Erasure and didn't hit a land on turn three or turn four, and our opponent had lots and lots of things, and we didn't have lands. Okay. We just need to draw one land. but we Again, we need to draw a land, but we only need to draw one, and then we have Sarkin and Dragon's Horde 
Uh, it's hard. This hand's definitely really good if we get that other land. Ritual so it can clean up their creatures for us. So hopefully we just get this land. Because then we got a real good hand. Yep. All the lists are on Stream Decker. Um, I guess I don't have mono blue aggro up there. But yeah, all the decks that we've played in the past. And Nile Legends up there too. So yeah, even if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to check out Stream Decker later for all the decks, or, you know, currently right now, it's link is streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Um... I'll play Dragon's Horde where we can get a counter on it by playing Nicol Bolas next turn. And draw a card right away. And Sarka and they would be attacking. Like, a, like they'd have a Jade Light here. They'd be able to attack it. The other good thing about playing Dragon Sword here is I, I do have Fungal Infection available also. Which, do I want to use on Llanowar Elf? Or do I want to save for Jade Light? I think I, I, think I want to just use on Llanowar Elf. To reduce their mana. Because with them discarding a card here, for them to have like have like Chupacabra, they would need like land plus Chupacabra um, out of two cards, which would be bad for me. But then would also mean that they're probably not growing Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, Dragon's Heart is a solid card for sure. Has there been any dragons in in Ravnica Allegiance? I don't remember seeing any off the top of my head. Hmm. All right, Sarkin into Bolas. I don't know. I liked. I liked having the. Who are you to call me? The ability to. I don't need this. I need this. Draw a card there. And. I guess. I guess Sarkin wasn't going to be, um, too vulnerable with us having this little plant here also. I was thinking Sarkin may be a little vulnerable if they did kill the Nickel Bolas. But yeah, I, I like to just draw on the card. Okay, so we... Certainly gonna block, block. All right, so let's play this. Play this. Loot. Madness. <laughs> what madness? Deal damage there. Draw a card. Deal a damage there. And passed. What do you think about Turbo Fog in the next standard? It, it looks it looks really scary, that's for sure. Wilderness Re Reclamation uh, certainly has the potential to make that deck incredibly good. I like keeping the loyal. I know we would we would have killed um, Wild Growth Walker with a double block, but I actually like keeping the loyalty on Sarkin. I could I could certainly be wrong. Sothian with the sub, second or third month in a row. Welcome back, Sothian. That's our second sub of the day. So let's get some hype in the channel. Hopefully, it's so good they banned Teferi. Do not hope it's it's that good, because that will be. It, it's going to take a whole lot for Teferi to get banned, so that would be some some miserable times up until then. Yeah, I guess I should have just killed a Wild Growth Walker, huh? I mean, well, I guess... You want a fight. Yeah, Sarkin would have died either way. Do I want to flip Nicol Bolas and return to Mizzet? 
Hmm. if we drew anything to play there. We did not. So there's one dragon, and it's not good. It's a 5-4 for 5 mana. In Ravnica Allegiance. Oh, yeah, Skargon Hellkite, yeah. Three red red, four four riot with flying. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that card is potentially better than Varric's Bladewing, but around that same level there. Yeah, because Haste is really good. Haste isn't as good with... Uh, with this kind of deck, though, because, you know, like, we're basically a Grixis control deck with dragons. Riot's going to be more valuable whenever you're going to be an aggressive deck, for sure. That card's not bad. Oh, yeah, definitely a limited bomb. Yep, definitely a limited bomb. No, no spice to it. Real standard. For mono blue aggro later. I mean, it's got to just be Thought Erasure, right? But we are going to be coiling some creatures. Go ahead and get your creatures out here to get coiled. Fun it. Merfolk Branch Walker. I don't think we necessarily need to coil that. Especially that we drew a Fungal Infection. And that's when I don't mind them getting back with Memorial of Folly that much. I'm getting the um getting the YouTube video ready to go for Hadana Stompy. That's a great card to lava coil. Our opponent knows about that mountain in our hand, so I want to play that mountain uh, over a Drowned Catacomb or anything like that. Just play the, the card they know about. <laughs> so no Vivian. That's great. And Thought Erasure is really good. We can take, like, Carnage Tyrant. Well... They just have, they can follow you back, Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, find, find, Reaper Contempt. And I guess, I guess I'm just going to take this Contempt. And we're going to Coil Reaper. And hopefully find Niv Mizzet. Certainly like to draw Niv Mizzet. <laughs> yeah, fungal infection's just a, a 
you know, a great answer to not only to like a, a Danto Vanguard, of course, for the deck, but it's also just it's a good card to go along with um, Niv Mizzet, where you can play it on uh, like having one extra mana. So it's just a, a real cheap spell. Cheap spells are are very good with Niv Mizzet, so it's so it's just doing that. Um, also, the one one being is has been a pretty valuable blocker at times. All right, so this branch walker, I am not going to be coiling. I am going to be saving this coil for the Midnight Reaper. Certainly do not like seeing that Eldritch Reborn there. Certainly do not like seeing that Eldritch Reborn there. I'm going to keep Watery Grave in my hand in case they do cast the Eldritch Reborn. Uh, if they just cast it here. So that I have the water grave to discard. Um, there's no, there's no nothing in the graveyard for Elder Born to get, so it'd be kind of a surprising. Come on, deck. We need a dragon. We need a dragon. Ugh. Yeah, that sapperling's done five damage. Come on, deck. All right. Well, the dress just trades with the dive down. I'll just dive down this one. Fo this one one. We can block Branch Walker at least now. How are we doing on lands with this deck? I know this deck doesn't have like tons of lands. Okay, it's 25. I'm gonna cast down the Branch Walker because I'd rather them use Find Finality on Branch Walker than on J Light Ranger. I don't really want them to get J Light Ranger back. We've seen 11 lands and 19 cards. And one of these lava coils I surveilled over. One of the lava coils I surveilled over. Why didn't I keep land in hand for this? That was my fault. I forgot about this card. Why I keep land in hand for that? You will feel yes. <laughs> I just forgot about that. Perfect. All right, Owen one. Blood. Blood, blood, blood. Yeah, I can help you with your mana on the Abzan build. Yep. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm not sure if it will work trying to play, you know, Jade Light at Johnny and, and Contempt, but we we can try. Uh, I, I honestly don't think you can play those cards together right now. You'd be able to after the next set. But yeah, I can, I can try helping out with that. 
Okay, we got niv mizzets now, so if we flood again, we have niv mizzets this, this time. <laughs> okay, loves curling up like that. Yeah, that's true. With a flood like that that we had last game, we can certainly help people with their mana problems. If you're new here, this is that's my cat Hawkeye. He's back here on the couch. It's way back there. Alright, another Golgari deck. Yeah, I played lots of Golgari. Um, so we played seven matches. This is match number eight. And this is Golgari number five in match number eight. That's, the, that's like one thing I'm certainly looking forward to with the next set. The next set does look like there's going to be lots of color combinations that are going to work and everything. I don't, I don't think there's going to be a deck as currently dominant as Golgari next set. I want to save Ritual of Soot. Let's play this Nicol Bolas. I don't think I need to cast Lava Coral here because we have Ritual of Soot that can uh, destroy stuff if they play like Jade Light. Yeah, Gogar is definitely the best deck right now. So I'm gonna coil the Chupacabra. Because I don't want Chupacabra to die and they get it back with all their fine finalities and stuff like that. Oh, well, let's let's thought erasure first. That's a good draw. Whew! Take that Vivian, that's good. Great draw step. Great draw step. Gotta get that Vivian out of here. Alright. One more land. Um, and it's gotta be a blue source, actually. We need a blue source. So it can't just be any land. It's gotta be a blue source. Well, that's... Kind of like a blue source, I suppose. He told me I'll show you unhinged. I don't think I actually discard anything. What are currently the best decks against Golgari? I don't really know. I don't know anything that's like... I don't think there's anything that's like you know, 70% against Golgari. I don't think there is any deck that's like that. There's a lot of decks that, or not a lot, but there are some decks that, like, maybe if tuned perfectly have, like, a, a little, you know, like, have um, a pretty Look good Golgari matchup. Skies. By pretty good, I mean, like, you know, 55%. Yeah, White Weenie, especially if White Weenie's playing Takali Honor Guard, that could certainly be something there. Uh. Hey, Zexion. Which deck would you feel would do best in the current best of one meta? Um... Yeah, Bant Fog against Golgari in best of one. That's it's probably great in best of one. Um, I don't I don't play much best of one myself. Come to me. But yeah, that's that's certainly a good place to be. Something like Bant Fog, something that just completely ignores a lot of cards that are in other people's decks. 
Dive down is great. Love drawing the dive down here. This is why I put dive down in the deck. I just realized I don't actually want to kill the Chupacabra. So it's unlikely our opponent finds more ways to kill this niv very quickly. Yeah, Takali plus a fast clock is a good place to be. I guess I could have killed the Wild Growth Walker this turn. It's probably what I should have done. Yeah, I, I should have just killed the Wild Growth Walker instead of pinging them for three. But I don't. I like where we're at. I think we're going to be just fine. Because our opponent needs a removal spell for Niv Mizzet. And even if they do have a removal spell for Niv Mizzet, we get to flip Nicol Bolas and. And then be able to put Niv Mizzet back. And also, by the way, if they don't. So they have to kill Niv Mizzet, and they have to kill Nicol Bolas, and also, by the way, I have this Sarkin that's just chilling over here at 7 loyalty. So it's about to ultimate. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to ultimate the Sarkin and they're dead. Doesn't really matter that I didn't ping the walker there. But yeah, could have pinged walker. No, Anironics, you're not removed as a mod. You're right there, listed as a mod. You got the sword. Oh. <laughs> no, doing really good. How you, how you been? Hope you had a good holiday season and everything. 2019, hope it's looking good for you. So, we're putting in these Ritual of Soots. Extra dive down. Getting rid of Blade Wing. And... Uh, a fungal infection. All right. It didn't work last time, but let's try it for this time. Do we need to go Eldest Reborn route? Nah. Is there an export of the deck? Yeah, you can find the deck list there. There you go, in the decks right there, or exclamation point deck list. Playing Legends of Aria. Okay, I don't, I don't even know what that game is. Dude, the game that I've been playing a bunch recently, I just started a few days ago, and it, I've been playing it too much the last couple of days, staying up too late kind of thing, is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, okay. Sandbox MMO. Cool. Yeah, Breath of the Wild is so much fun. You just get so much exploring and everything like that. Yeah, I made the playlist. You can find the music playlist here. We want go contempt against Golgari. Contempt is really good against Vivian. That's kind of the thing you want to contempt. Uh, trading contempt for like Wild Growth Walker and stuff like that, it's not, it's not really what you want. Like I, I have lava coils, and cast downs. Really, contempt's good against Vivian, and that's about it. Yeah, Breath of the Wild is is awesome. Oh, really, Sunshine? You're playing it right now? Cool. Cool. Do you explore twice? Uh, I I don't know. I I do I do just explore like the so I've I'm through the first area, which is um man I'm kind of bad at remembering names, but like your first kind of introductory area with the four shrines, I'm through that area, 
and I'm in the I'm in the second area right now. I just got like a horse today, um, and I'm just kind of going through and trying to find all the shrines in that area. There are some super big spooky skeleton monster thing at night that I could did not even want to fight, ran away from. So, what else do we have to Carnage Tyrant except bodies? Yeah, we just race it. Niv Mizzet races Carnage Tyrant pretty well. And, um... Yeah, let's let's cast Nikki B and I'm not gonna I could play like the Water Grave in, but I'm gonna cast Nikki B and have the Dragon Horde allow me to draw a card here. Yeah, we get to we get to raise it pretty well and we get to ramp into our Niv Mizzet with our Sarkin and Dragon Sword and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do an entire RNA full set review on Friday. That's gonna be the stream on Friday. Uh, going through every single card in the set, giving it constructed grade, A through F, we'll be breaking it down by color. Um, be putting the videos up on YouTube also. So yeah, Friday, we'll be doing it. Cause we should have, um, we should have another, or we should have all the cards known by Friday, I believe. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. I could certainly see taking out a cast down nature. for a contempt. You know, I would love to have a contempt over this over this cast down, a hundred percent. It's okay, Dark Elf. You're fine. Ugh. We need you last turn, Thought Erasure, to take Vivian. All right, let's get rid of Chupacabra. The rest of these, these cards are going to be hard to beat for us, honestly. Nah, I'm thinking it's... I'm thinking it's not Chupacabra. It's going to be one of the other cards. How am I going to deal with this Vivian? I don't know. All right, yeah, we'll take Choop. Maybe I should just cast the Niv Mizzet there. Can I get to eight mana? Come to me. And play Niv Mizzet and have cast down up. I don't know. I would love to draw dive down. Drawing dive down would be insane for us. We got three dive downs in the deck. Need to draw a dive down. Yeah, Doom Whisperer could find another Chupacabra, but it, it, it could cost him a lot of life. I'm playing Niv Mizzet next turn, though, no matter what. Dive down. Dive down. Dive down. Dive down. Ugh. Alright, so I can draw a card and deal one damage. I can kill the Jade Light or I could ping the Vivian for one so the Vivian can't just minus again. Let's get this ping. Um, I mean, well, the Vivian could minus again, but it won't stay alive. But I can do that. I guess I could. So I could ping Vivian. It goes to three. I play the new Niv. And then cast Cast Down. 
And then ping Niv again. Or, yeah, King ping Vivian again. Ugh. Yeah, Dragon's Horde gives mana. Scars are left. Sometimes restoration means retribution. They don't find a choop. Can we get another dive down? And by another, I mean a singular. Uh, so I can play that. So I play that, add two mana. There's a, there's a little arrow over here that you can you can you can click an arrow right above the stack to move it um all right so we play sark and add two mana and then one two three four play niv and we have dragon toward up again i don't think that's worth it yes yeah, there's that arrow there. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. You know, if they had Doom Whisper in play here, I'd be having cast down up, but they don't. So I'm just gonna get this this land in, not shocking. That life total, that life could certainly matter. So they have finality. No, Sarkin gives two mana. Giving if it just gave three mana and replaced itself, that would be. No one knows the wilds silly. like I do. But no, it gives two. It almost does. Uh, second Carnage Tyrant. Can I deal 21 to my opponent next turn? That'll be hard. Strike me, and you strike nature. The dragon, I know what I'm doing. Hmm. I'm not losing everything again. I'm just not gonna win this. Hey, Techstar. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Most wounds can heal. Hmm. All right. What if? Let's get rid of these cast downs. I don't like that card. Let's get rid of that card. If we play some Eldest Reborns and some Contempts, hmm, trim a Dragon's Horde, and then we had to trim Fungal Infection, but we got Ritual of Set somewhere on the play. Unclear if, I'm unclear if this is going to work out. No, I don't really want thieves because I'm. My plan is, you know, I got four ritual sets in here. My plan is to use those to to kind of clean up the cre the cheap creatures. Hmm. 
nine nine games in a row I didn't go first. Huh, that's weird. But no, I haven't seen anything. I haven't noticed anything about that at all, but I don't... That's not something I really pay attention to. But I, I haven't noticed anything. I'd rather have an answer for Vivian when it's on the battlefield than a negate. And just hope to, to have my negate line up. That's not like a, a spot I'd necessarily want to be. Alright, we have four, la four mana already. We don't have anything that costs more than four. I think we'd rather like look for some spells here. I already have like dive downs, which are kind of like negate. If if we have like the creature, the dragon in play, whether it's Nicobolus or Niv Mizzet, and they play Vivian to kill it, like our dive down saves our creature, then we get to attack the Vivian. So it's, it's like a cheap, cheaper negate for that scenario. So we're gonna have to contempt that. A curious choice. Yeah, I definitely have to contempt that now. I wanted to contempt Vivian. I hope they don't have a Vivian also in their hand. I guess I can play Soot this turn and then they can't cast Vivian yet, but they get to. They get to minus their card and put Vivian in their hand. I can't I can't handle can't have that. Yeah, instant speed hexproof for one blue is very strong. We of course need the dragons though. I'm not loving our chances here against six cards for the opponent. Not liking our chances at all. Yeah, five out of eight, eight have been Golgari, and we're going to lose to four out of five of them. Golgari's just really good. <laughs> you know, this is turn two, Jaylight, turn three, Karn, turn four, Doom Whisperer. Like, it's just really good. Yeah, definitely can't blame people for wanting to win, for sure. I'm not, a, I'm not upset that our opponents are playing it. It's just really good. Um... I, I don't think I can win from here. I just don't have... Don't have cards to win. Yeah, certainly tons of variations you can go with Golgari. There are so many good cards. You know, a lot of people don't even play Doom Whisperer or Karn. Um, just kind of shows how, how strong all the cards are in those colors right now. Um, and uh, I think Ravnica Allegiance is going to help other color combinations kind of catch up to Golgari. Yeah, I assume you're playing in Turbo Fog against Golgari in best of one. Um, cause I don't don't think you'd have a a great matchup post board with the hand disruption they get, but 
still probably have an okay matchup. I guess that's the deck that when people keep asking what can I play to beat Golgari, that's a deck. It's Turbo Fog. Gotta get Doom Whisper out of here. Hurts. I was not ha ver having very many cards anyway. Double lava coiling, but we certainly have to. Tech Star, that's not a good that's not a good way to refer to decks. Tech Star. You can be better. Playlist. Do exclamation point. There you go. Thanks, Keto. No, that doesn't need to be timed out. There you go. Remove timeout. But I was just, you know, it was a teaching moment. You know, you don't need to don't need to refer to decks like that. I mean, I will play it. So they, so they ditched. No, they, do they keep contempt. Yeah, like they have contempt, right? Yeah, they have contempt. All right, Raster, have a good night. Um. We could draw t a tap land here that we want to play for like a Niv. Yeah, I guess we're not dead dead. So last card not contempt? What's going on? Why aren't they contempt? Pestilent Spirit looks really good. Giving death touch to instants and sorceries. Yeah, and being a 3-2 menace death touch creature basically kind of means you're unblockable you know you don't really want to block so like when you're menace you have to block with two creatures you don't really want to block have two creatures block a death touch creature because they're both going to die so it's basically unblockable we, we can cast niv mizzet um dragon's horde is you know adds mana Hmm. I certainly think that they have... I certainly think they have Contempt in their hand. And... I certainly think they have Contempt in their hand. Yeah, because it didn't go anywhere else. So, if I so basically, if I play Nickel Bolas, I die, which is a problem. That's certainly a problem. So I guess I have to play Ritual of Soot. The problem with this is they get to find Finality and get Jade Light and Branch Walker back. And also I'm at two. Maybe with the Dragon's Horde. So Dragon's Horde we could draw. Dive down. But I'm gonna do it now because we could draw just we could draw like lava coil. So we need to draw yeah, we need to draw Lava Coil if they if they respond to this. The thing is, I want to wait to be able to respond to Contempt. But if I wait, I take out my Lava Coil possibility. Uh. 
Ugh. What's the best anti-Golgari list? It's certainly something very controlling that uh, has a lot of sweepers. Probably something with like four star of extinction um, and that kind of stuff. And something where you just get to, to blank all their chupacabras and things like that. And you have like lots of ways to, to kill their creatures. Watley. Probably something like that. Okay, Grixis Dragons did not pass the Golgari test for us here. No Star of Extinctions to kind of help us out. Um, Niv Mizzet. See, this is like the problem that I was worried about with Niv Mizzet and Nicol Bolas is they are very weak to Chupacabra and Vivian. And I was worried about that, which is why I put the dive downs in. And uh, whenever we were able to protect the dragon with the dive down, it was awesome. But there was just too many times we weren't able to do that. So... There we go. We are 0 2 with Grixis Dragons. Quick little video there. So, yep, Nia Legends is up next. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're on there and check out another video like Nia Legends, which we'll, I'll be posting in a little bit. See you next time.